Hey guys, Vicki Avis here with Kim Burnett and Nancy Sebastian. This is our weekly Beach Buzz Live. And just wanted to let you know what's going on around the Gulf. So, um, if you want to have breakfast with the bunny, it's getting that time of year. So, you can go to the Meyer Civic Center this weekend. It's uh, tomorrow, actually, April the 1st at 8 a.m. The Easter Bunny will make a special appearance in the city of Gulf Shores at the Meyer Civic Center. At 8 a.m., it's a traditional pancake breakfast with sausage, eggs, and bacon. We'll be served. Children will have an opportunity to meet the bunny, take pictures, and um, also the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo will be on site with a few of their furry friends as well. So you don't want to miss that. That is April the 1st, starting at 8 a.m. It's $5 for admission, and children three and under are free. So come on out. More stuff going on on the Gulf. So, uh, mud bugs and margaritas. There will be multiple locations. There's going to be craft beer from Fairhope Brewing Company and wine. Live music all day. It's from 10 to 6. And that is at Heritage Park in Foley. So, come on out. There's going to be a lot of activities. There's going to be music and all kinds of things from 10 to 6. And this is... Um, Saturday, April the 1st. Hey y'all, this is Kim Burnett with the XP Realty along with Nancy Sebastian and Vicki Avens. We're at our featured house today. Um, we'll go over it here in a little while and let you see all this new beautiful furniture in it here. It is comes with it now um, and we're going to be showcasing this house here in a few minutes. But I want to tell you what was going on this weekend. Real exciting because Easter's coming up and we're going to have the Easter egg hunt Saturday, April the 1st at Graham Creek Natural Nature Preserve in Foley. And that's 23460 Wolf Bay Drive. It's 10 to 12. And it begins at 10 and the children are going to be divided into three age groups. So you don't have to worry about the big kids with the little kids um, hunting the eggs. So there'll be plenty of eggs and crafts for the kids and the Easter Bunny will make his appearance. So, okay y'all, one more event. This is gonna be exciting. This is Paula Dean book signing. She is gonna be at her restaurant, y'all. This is April the 1st, 10 to 12. It is gonna be at Paula Dean's Family Kitchen and that's her restaurant in Etha Oa. Uh, it opens at 9, but you have to be there to get a wristband. It's, they're going to give out 250 wristbands so you can meet and greet with Paula Dean and get her to sign you a book. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. So you might need to get there early and get in line. I'm sure there's going to be a line at OWA. So anyway, that's another event. Hey y'all, this is um, the house that we are featuring today. It's at Fish Camp uh, in Orange Beach on Canal Road. This is one of our favorite homes here that we have listed. And um, we've got furniture in it now. It didn't have furniture before, but we have put some furniture in it to make it look just beautiful. It comes with it. So this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Let's go look. Come on. Okay. It's these beautiful blinds, this beautiful wood floor that we have. This is real wood. Um, dining room table, couch, the living room, kitchen. It all comes furnished. Granite countertops, the black. This is a nice pantry. Your food. So laundry, 
room there with the washer and dryer, big space there. And that is the guest bath. And this is our primary room here. Um, with the uh, wood here. In this beautiful bathroom with this beautiful tile floor, shower, or rather the tub that can convert into a shower. This is another closet as well. I guess it could be a man's closet. The big closet for the women. TV there comes with it. All the artwork comes with it. This is one of our guest bedrooms. And it overlooks the outside here, beautiful grounds where the pool is. It overlooks the pool from here, you can see. One of the pools, there's two pools on this um, complex. And another guest bedroom, bathroom, I'm sorry. All right, there is HOA dues that are $670 per month, um, which are very um, inexpensive compared. Um, this is not a short-term rental home. It's long-term rental. If you do want to rent it, um, it could be a second home, easily a second home or a primary home. Um, we love this home. The price is $599,000. So if you're interested in this or anything around here at the coast, just please give me, Vicki, or Nancy a call, and um, we'd love to help you. But I'm not going to do that one. I was thinking about it. I want to do something about the... You know what? If I don't got it, we can delete it. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. It's Nancy Sebastian with EXP Realty, and here we are at our Beach Bus Live. And um, we, Kim was supposed to do the Bible study today, and she um, wasn't ready, so I had to put something quick together. And I thought about um, Good Friday and thereafter Easter Sunday. So... Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to read out of Matthew today, um, and it's Matthew 27, um, 45, and it says, At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice. This was after they hung him on the cross, beat him, spit on him, pulled his hair, whipped him to where he was just unrecognizable. And put him on a cross and that this is what happened afterwards about three o'clock jesus called out with a loud voice eli eli lima sabashanot and i hope i got that right which means my god my god why have you abandoned me 
Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for the prophet Eli Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up on a reed stick so he could drink. But the rest said, wait, let's see what Elijah, let's see whether Elijah comes to save him. Then Jesus shouted out again and he released his spirit. At that moment, the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, and tombs opened. The bodies of many godly men and women who had died before were raised from the dead. They left the ceremony after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city of Jerusalem and appeared to many people. So reading this this week, um, there was some stuff in here that, that I didn't know. And so um, one of them is, well, I did, I did know this. Uh, uh, when it said that the, um, that the whole land, darkness fell over the whole land, that is because God cannot see sin. He cannot be around sin because he is so holy. And so darkness fell. And that, so that, to me, that was the time that Jesus took on our sins is when that happened. And that, that was like for three hours he suffered because of us. And he took our sins away from us. Um, on the, um, I didn't know that he shouted out a second time. I've never heard that. I never heard that, so that was something that I learned. And he shouted out again and released his spirit. And then at that moment, the curtain of the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So that means man couldn't do that. That was only the, the, the spiritual realm or God or whoever did that from top to bottom because man can't reach that. The earth shook and rocks fell apart and tombs opened. If you remember in one of our, I think our very first one, it, we were talking about the dead in Christ shall rise. And I, we were talking about the dead being, you know, you're dead, in, you're dead in, until um, Christ, you mm -hmm. accept Christ into your, into your life, you're dead. But then I got to thinking after that day, I got to thinking about what, what about Jacob, Abraham, Elijah, Moses, all those people. They didn't know Jesus, so how are they going to get to heaven? Well, this explains it right now because it said the tombs opened and, the, and the, the, the dead, the godly men and women who died before us were raised. So that, that explains all that. Um, I guess that's it. So y'all, Jesus died on the cross on Friday. For our sins, they do call it Good Friday. It should be called Bad Friday, but it's good for us because he died on the cross for our sins. And on Saturday, Sunday, three days later, he rose and he's been in heaven ever since taking care of us and interceding for... Oh, let me, let me back up just a minute. The, 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 the significance of the, um, the curtain in the sanctuary temple was back in before Jesus came in Moses' time and, and you know the Old Testament, the only way that you could get to God was if a priest walked through that, that curtain and, and, and atoned for your sins. And that's the only way then you could get there. So when Jesus died on the cross and that curtain was split, that means we've got free reign to God through Jesus now. We don't have to go through someone else. We've got we've got Jesus to go to intercede for us. So anyway, we all have a happy Easter, and um, we'll see you next time.